Hello, this reading is for Taurus. Welcome, Taurus, if you're new. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. Okay, Taurus, we're going to pull some oracle cards. By the way, this is your reading for January 1st through the 15th. Okay, we have soulmates. Okay, so it may be a very good time for love. And we have MPSA. So you may be undecided at the moment. This may be something that you're undecided about or you have some sort of insecurity. Okay. And we have Beyond the Ordinary. So I really feel like you are trying new things, Taurus. I feel like you are, and I'm steady dropping cards. Sorry if I bump the camera. Okay, you have birds of a feather. So yeah, I feel like you're gonna be spending time with family as well. Um, spending time with family, friends, hanging out with your girls, with your guys, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're going to be socializing. You're definitely going to be more on the social side in January. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus spirits? January 1st through the 15th. What do we have for store? for Taurus, what messages? Okay, we have the Six of Cups. So yeah, definitely socializing. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Four of Cups, lots of cups. You have the Chariots. You have the Ten of Wands. You have the Three of Cups. Definitely social events, celebrations, the Hierophants. And the Queen of Cups. Wow, this is all about cups. You definitely have love coming in. And you have the Three of Swords in reverse. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Page of Swords on the bottom. Okay, Taurus. Okay, what I'm feeling with this issue is that you're really hoping that someone from the past is coming back. And it may very well be that this person is going to contact you. Because I see that you're thinking about this person a lot. Or this person is thinking about you. But I feel like you're you're wishing this person will come back into your life. You really want this, whatever it is, to be resolved. And I feel like, you know, you may receive an apology. Um, I feel like you... You left the year last year kind of heartbroken or in doubt, um, discouraged, having insecurities about something. And it could be about some sort of situation. Now, this could be a situation where the person from your past had someone else in the picture with you. This could be a three-party situation. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Three of Pentacles. Um... So this, this could be some kind of resolution to this three-party event that was going on. I feel like you're, you're hoping that the situation would resolve itself, but I feel like it hasn't resolved itself um, and you haven't got past your feelings about it. You're kind of stuck in your feelings about the situation. Um, you want to move in to another situation but 
not having the resolution that you want is holding you back from it. Now, by the second week of January, I feel like you're, you're slowly kind of dwelling on the situation. You're starting with the Three of Cups, which you may be surrounding yourself and socializing with other people, but you're ending with this, with this Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something that you're still working on. I feel like you are kind of replaying the situation in your mind. You have the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups. So you're, you're kind of dwelling on these emotions that you're going through. You're dwelling on this how to heal your heart situation. And now for some of you, this could be your person coming back to give you some kind of apology to try to work things out with you. Um, but for a majority, I feel like you are still stuck in this place. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification for this. With this Queen of Cups here, I feel like, you know, someone is stepping in to support you. Um, I feel like someone is showing you a lot of support, a lot of care. Um, they're really paying attention to your feelings. Now, this may be the person that you're hoping for, but this also may be a friend. Okay, we have... Yeah, we have the two, excuse me, the three of wands and we have the two of pentacles. So you're currently waiting. You're in this waiting phase. Um, but I feel like you're kind of expanding your ground here. You may be going out on dates. You may be trying to meet other people, trying to get past this situation. And I feel like it's, it's making you more at ease. It's bringing you more balance to the situation. Yeah, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I feel like, you know, whatever this person did, if this is a three-party situation or not, but whatever this person did, you're not quite ready to leave the situation. Even though I feel like you're seeing other people, um, I feel like your heart is still stuck. Your heart is still stuck in this situation. And you just want your heart to unbreak because you really don't want to walk away. Let's get some more cards for Taurus. What what message do we have for Taurus? What other message do we have for Taurus for an outcome for the situation? The sun. Okay. You know what? You're going through tough times, and this is a tough road that you're going down, but you're ending with the sun, Taurus. So I feel like even though you don't want to leave this situation, I feel like you're finally going to come to terms with whatever this situation is. And you're going to find your happiness again. I feel like, you know, it's all going to work out. If, if this situation is resolved or if they come with an apology, I also feel like you're going to accept it. You're going to accept it and move on. Um, I'm not sure how easy that's going to be because you have the Knight of Swords on the bottom. So I feel like maybe not being too hasty, not being so rushed into making decisions would be helpful for you. But I feel like whoever this person is, um, they may be kind of a quick talker. Um, they definitely have some sort of quick wit or big excuses that kind of pull them out of situations. But I feel like, you know, you're, you're going through your changes, Taurus, 
And I feel like, you know, e even with this Knight of Swords, this Knight of Swords can bring change when it comes into view. So even with the Knight of Swords, this could be a lifestyle change that, that you're going through. This may be, with the Chariot, this may be a physical move that you're going through. So I feel like whatever this is, you're making plans, Taurus. Start the year out right. Okay. Okay, Taurus. Yeah, make those resolutions. Make those plans. Okay, let's get you some Moonology cards. Yeah, adjustments are required. So yeah, try to stay in a positive state of mind. Bring yourself into a positive mode here. Try to meditate more. Uh, ground yourself. Work on your chakras. Feel grounded. Um, but I do feel like, you know, a win-win situation is coming into view. Like I said, you have the, the sun here. And you also have balance. This is... Um, a justice kind of feel. So I feel like karmic energy is coming into your 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 aura, your your space to help relieve whatever this is that may bring you down. Okay, what else do we have for Taurus? We have communication is the key. Yeah, it's you know what? When push comes to shove, Taurus, it's always good to go ahead and just speak your mind. Get it out there in the in the open. Um, say what you need to say. And at the bottom, you have work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio. So th this may be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be, but it may be. Um, could also be a Libra, Pisces, Gemini. There's a lot of signs here, so. But there's a lot of water. So I feel like these feelings run very deep. There's a lot of water in these uh, in this reading. So your your water is your feelings, your emotions, love. Okay. Now, what you're manifesting, last quarter moon in Gem Gemini, clear your mind, clear your emotions. Yeah, like I was saying, um, meditate, feel grounded, and then forgive, full moon in Pisces. And it just may be that you need to forgive yourself for taking so long to make a decision. Or um, maybe you just need to forgive this person that brought you into this situation. But, you know, forgiveness is for yourself. It's not for someone else. And then full moon in Taurus. Detoxify. Yeah, you may want to, you know, watch your health. Maybe take the negative things that you're doing in your life and kind of get rid of those things wean yourself off of any negative things that are that you're putting into your body detoxify and then once you're done with that trust the universe first quarter moon in aquarius definitely okay taurus now last thing we'll get a card from the universe. Let's see what the universe wants to say to Taurus. January 1st through the 15th. What message from the universe for Taurus? We have Ener energy flows where my intentions go. Yeah, set your intention for whatever it is that you want out of this year. Set your resolutions. Make a list. And then once you make your list, and make your list as specific as possible, once you make your list, though, try to flow into each item on your list 
with a positive mindset. And true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feels, whatever feelings live below my triggers. Yeah, so know what's triggering you, Taurus. Also, you have through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Yeah, so spirit is letting you know to meditate more, feel grounded, take some alone time and think through your issues, through whatever challenges or obstacles that you're going through. And um, you'll ground yourself in this situation and any answers that you need will come then. Okay, Taurus, this is your reading for January 1st through the 15th. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And many blessings to you, Taurus. Have a wonderful new year and love and light.